Have you ever wondered how ice keeps drinks cold? As the ice cube melts, it absorbs heat or thermal energy from its surroundings. The molecular vibrations of the ice increase and the cohesive bonds between the molecules break apart. Molecules are now bonded together with less strength and a different geometry which forms water. During melting, the average kinetic energy of the ice and water molecules does not change. The temperatures of both are also the same and don't increase. That's why the drink stays cold. Conversely, when water turns into ice, work is done by cohesive forces to bring the molecules closer together and reduce their vibrations. Energy or heat is released to allow them to stay together. Ice melting and turning into water or water evaporating and becoming vapor is called a change of state or change of phase. Some other phase change materials have been used to create insulation products for buildings. They can minimize heating and cooling loads because of their potential to absorb and release heat during melting and solidification or during change in phases. A local company called QE Platinum gave me these samples to review. The product comes in panels measuring 4 feet by 1.5 feet by 3 eighths of an inch. They weigh less than 1 pound per square foot. The outer covering is made of conductive materials like thick aluminum foil. They hold separate cells of squishy phase change material or PCM. There are three main types of phase change materials, organic materials like paraffin wax or non-paraffin like fatty acids, esters, alcohols and glycols, inorganic materials like salt hydrates and metal alloys, eutectics which are a combination of organic and inorganic materials. This particular phase change insulation is made of organic and biodegradable soybean oil. It is a waxy, non-toxic paste with small lumps of solids. Once it's exposed to air, it starts to dry up into a white residue. This material works in three stages during the day. When the sun rises in the morning, the semi-solid phase change material starts absorbing thermal energy to melt. Throughout the day, the material continues to melt. It absorbs and stores up to 100 BTUs per square foot. During the night, the phase change material prepares for a new day by returning to its solid state. This time lapse demonstrates the performance of phase change insulation. On the left, we have a piece of foam insulation being heated with an incandescent light bulb. On the right, the foam insulation is supplemented with a piece of phase change insulation. As time goes on, the space on the left gets hotter much faster. At the end of the experiment, the left side is at 81 degrees Fahrenheit, while the right is only at 66.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Traditional forms of insulation like fiberglass and rock wool and foam resist the flow of heat by conduction, convection or radiation. Phase change insulation operates differently. They capture and store thermal energy or heat. In summer, they slow down indoor heat gain and in winter, they slow down heat loss. Instead of relying only on air conditioning or HVAC equipment, we can use this material to minimize indoor air temperature fluctuations. We can also improve comfort levels and reduce energy consumption. We can shift our peak energy consumption to evenings and nights when electricity is cheaper. It is estimated that 1.5 inches of phase change insulation has an equivalent thermal mass to 12 inches of concrete. It also has excellent fire resistance. Both the interior paste and the exterior aluminum film didn't catch on fire. This particular product has a class A fire safety rating, a flame spread of 5 and smoke developed index of 5. It is also resistant to water. It is self-healing. In case a pocket is punctured, the material inside develops a thin, hard film that prevents the rest of the material from spilling out. It is estimated to degrade less than 2% over 100 years and comes with a 30-year warranty and guaranteed 20% energy savings for certain homes and buildings. This leads to lower CO2 emissions and lower water consumption. The outer layers are recyclable and the inner components are non-toxic to both the environment and humans. It is odorless, it doesn't off-cast or release any VOCs or volatile organic compounds. It is very easy to install this insulation. It is pliable, lightweight and very easy to handle. It doesn't require any prep work or cleanup, maintenance or extra machines or tools. It lays directly on top of existing insulation in attics or on top of suspended ceiling tiles. It doesn't need to be mechanically fastened with staples. Before we move on to the numerous applications of phase change insulation, I'd like to talk about the sponsor of this portion of the video, 
Roofing for US. They are the biggest online roofing materials supplier in the US. Roofing for US ships all their products nationwide to contractors. They are cheaper than big name brands and offer high quality products for less. Brands such as Facro, Belux Skylights, Suntech, National Nail, True Fast Walls, Malta Dynamics, Lucas Waterproofing and more are available online to purchase today and to be delivered directly to your job site. Use promo code BELINDA5 to receive an additional 5% discount of your next order with roofingforus.com. Phase change insulation is currently used for a wide variety of applications, not just insulation. It is used for the transportation of cold storage vaccines, medicines and blood. Thermal batteries can be made of biowax. It keeps milk, food and beverages cold. It's also used to keep food warm. It can protect electronic devices and cool computers. And it's used as phase change drywall. I'll make another video on that product as soon as I get my hands on a sample. I have several feet of blown-in insulation in the attic of my 1970s home. It is difficult to find the beams and walk around the space. Phase change insulation mats lay directly on top of existing insulation, so it's easier to walk around. In commercial applications, these mats are installed on top of suspended ceiling tiles. Installation is very quick and causes minimal disturbance, so it is ideal in restaurants and offices. Like with every product, there are some disadvantages. These mats don't replace traditional insulation. They are used as a supplement, a pretty expensive supplement. They cost $3.50 per square foot, but the price is expected to come down as production scales up. Phase change materials work best in temperate climates. They need to have moderate to large variations between daytime and overnight temperatures. This is necessary to recharge the phase change material. They don't work well in coastal tropical regions where there is very little variation between daily temperatures. Early versions of phase change insulation used salt and keratin, which were very corrosive and only lasted 10 years. Thanks to continuous research and development, this has improved and continues to improve. But they are not a silver bullet for better building performance. You have to consider building orientation and available solar gain. They must be used with other energy efficiency measures like improved levels of insulation, reduced drafts and efficient glazing. Let me know what you think about this product in the comments below. I'll link my Patreon page in the description if you can support me, I'd really appreciate it. A big thank you to everyone already supporting me. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See ya.